Our next topic is body dysmorphia. So this condition is characterized by a preoccupation with one or more perceived flaws in your appearance that cause you so much distress it impacts your ability to function in your daily life. Joining us now to share her experience with this is Kenzie Brenna. And I'm smiling not because of the body dysmorphia, but because you're so lovely and I love your energy. So Kenzie, you were diagnosed with this condition as an adult, but looking back, when did you first start to feel like that disconnection with your body? Yeah, I think it was a right around puberty, right when you know you start going through so many changes. Mm -hmm. And I went through changes that I was really embarrassed about. I started gaining weight and I started getting comments from, you know, my mom and adults and friends and then I started to not want to change in front of people not want to like be myself or wear revealing clothing yeah I started to get embarrassed I think it was right around puberty right around 12 or 13. Right around 12 or 13 which is a time that a lot of girls start to feel I think a little bit out of control about what, totally. you know what's happening with your body so tell me about how you became aware that there was actually an issue. Because as I mentioned, a lot of girls going through puberty are feeling sort of a little bit of that dissociation, but you knew that this was bigger than that. So how did you come to a diagnosis? Yeah, it was right around the age of 25 when I was in partnership with someone and I really felt like I couldn't be intimate with them. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous and scared that they were going to dislike my body and I could not look at myself in a mirror and I hadn't owned a full-length mirror my whole adult life and I just knew that there was this big block and that I felt like I was in pain looking at myself and so I started to go through therapy and I started to talk to her about the bo like my body image and just how much I dislike myself and it feels even painful to, to talk about now because I'm in such a different place from that but it was right around the age of 25 and that's when I got the diagnosis for body dysmorphic disorder. Was it you? Did you lead the charge to go get some help like talk therapy or was it your parents? Yeah it was me. It no, was you. I was very private from my parents because I just had this feeling of shame or embarrassment kept coming up yeah so I didn't feel comfortable to talk to them about it and um, yeah so it, it was definitely me and at sure. least you made that step which is great because mm -hmm. I'm wondering how did you how do you heal from having this distorted image of your body yeah I think that the healing process is different for so many people mm -hmm. you know we're all um, individuals with our own different stories and backstories and so it's definitely different for everybody but for me it had to do with a combination of therapy and community I finally found a community online for me it was online for other people it would be in person but I found a community online that was talking about self-love and things that had been hidden for so long and mental health and and all of the stuff that felt like it was quiet and hidden in our lives and I found them and um, became a part of a community that helped make me see, that helped made me see myself but and ground me and um, just gave me tools that I didn't have before. And do you still you're still in that community or those communities like you surround yourself with that kind of support? Yes. Yeah. yeah big time. What have you learned um, from experiencing this disorder and, and living with it? Because you say even thinking back is like it's still kind of raw, right? Yeah. It feels hard to touch sometimes because I'm in such a, I love myself so much. I'm so I glad that I'm, that. yeah, I'm so glad I'm here. I'm mm -hmm. so glad I'm in this body and I'm not in any other body. Mm -hmm. um, I think that what I've learned is that, you know, one, hearing stories over the years of people who have hated themselves or have struggled with their own body image, it really transcends gender and age and every single person at one time has disliked themselves. And in, in that sense, I feel like we can all relate to each other much more than we realize. Mm -hmm. And everybody has, you know, their own story to tell. and. Everybody is, is, is wants to love themselves. Like every single person I know wants to get to that place. You know, mm -hmm. if they want, if they really, you know, didn't like themselves and they like that, then they would stay there. But everybody is, wants a chance to do that. So I think that I've learned that, um, you know, when we begin to love ourselves, we give other people their permission to love themselves as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a very healing, it's very healing individually and collectively, I think. I remember when it clicked for me, I was in the change room at the gym mm -hmm. and, you know, I was going to the gym with this drive of like keeping this body. Yes. And 
I was listening to a woman who was probably, I don't know, like a size two or a size zero, whatever that means, or a size four. Mm -hmm. And she was relentlessly complaining about her body. Mm. And all of a sudden I had this click. It's like, oh my gosh, it doesn't matter what the size is. So it doesn't matter if you're a size 26 or you're a size six. Totally. You have an issue with your body. So the only way you can get off the train is by getting off the train. Right. Because <laughs> it's never gonna get better. Like there's totally. no, it's completely arbitrary and it actually means nothing. So you have to make the decision. And I'm, I'm, I'm making it sound easy, it's not easy. We're bombarded with images of how we're supposed to look. So it's not easy, right. but that's when it clicked for me. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We love it. And Thank I love you. that you like this body and you don't want to be in any other body but this body. That's what I'm taking away from this segment.